Fascinating couple of hours ahead here at Tannadice as United put their unbeaten start to the league season on the line against a Rangers side desperate not to allow Celtic and indeed Aberdeen to vanish into the distance. Dundee United are unbeaten in eight matches since losing to championship leaders Falkirk in their League Cup group opener. It's their best run as a top flight side since 2013. The United are unchanged for the third successive game as they chase a fourth win in the bounce. St Mirren, St Johnston and Hearts have all been beaten in their last three in what's been a relatively seamless return to the top table. I think the chopping and changing personnel can disrupt things a lot and yes of course when you're winning games of football then you don't have to make too many drastic changes so I think you know the players are very comfortable they've been involved in some really difficult games up to now, um, had some really good performances and some great results off the back of it and we're hoping for a similar outcome here today. A fantastic moment of remembrance there for Ron Yates and off we go! Cortes, Dessers, Mike Lawrence, he's worked it really well and Tom Lawrence scores! They've waltzed their way through the Tangerine defence, Rangers lead in the City of Discovery. We lost the game in that opening 10 minute period, um, you know we're extremely disappointed with the goal and the manner of the goal, um, it's not been like us to be honest, we weren't able to retain possession and then we left ourselves a little bit wide open in the middle of the park, you know it was clear to us then you know that, that the shape wasn't working and um, you know that's on me obviously I set the players up in a certain way to play uh, we didn't feel there was any requirement to change the team the personnel or the system because it's been working so well up to now in the last eight games and obviously uh, we've had you know three clean sheets coming into this one um, playing that way but we felt we had to get an extra body into the middle of the park and that's why we made the, the change of system. We went to the 4-3-3, um, Doherty in the middle of the park and then at half time that allowed us to, to get Fitch going at right back and I thought the second half performance actually was, was a lot better. I thought we had a lot more of it. I suppose the real frustration from us all is for all the good possession that we had in the second half, we weren't able to really carve out any clear-cut you know goal scoring opportunities I can't have too many arguments about the result but um, you know I, I can't fault the players in terms of what they put into the game they got off the Rangers as much as they could we tried to be aggressive with the press we tried to force Rangers into turnovers and going that little bit more direct and I thought we'd done all of that I think if it was a game that just passed us by and we looked the soft touch then of course there would be concern but I know that's not the case with this group they always give everything every time they cross that white line you know they give their all for the jersey and I think that's all you can ask you know today we were beaten by the better team on the day we've got to dust ourselves down now this week we've got a quick turnaround with the game being on Friday evening against Motherwell we've got real confidence in the group that we can go there and get the result we want and hopefully have a day out of the national stadium to look forward to